Good morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality, to your health, to your well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system it's a regenerating system it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis and while some folks may call that healing system a miracle it really is just the way the body works if you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs we want to hear from you we welcome your calls on the bright side at 855-660-4261 it's 855-660-4261. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or skin care, if you have a loved one or a workmate that you want to get off their prescription drugs and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you at 855-660-4261. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear us talk about on the Brightside program, you can call the Brightside phone team, Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Or you can click on the uh, the Buy Now link on the upper left-hand corner of the page at brightsideben.com. We have all the longevity products up there, including my personal favorite, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine Multivitamin Mineral Complex Powder that you add to water and drink. we got the BTT Regular Strength, the BTT 2.0 as well. The BTT BTT 2.0 is an advanced formula. It is GMO-free. And it's got more nutrients. It's uh, around 52 bucks, 52.50 for a canister. For just 52 dollars and 50 cents, you can enjoy all the benefits of a good nutritional supplement program. Beyond Tangy Tangerine is all your basic nutrients, including your water-soluble nutrients that are so easily lost and so hard to replace. Vitamin C and the B complex, especially. You'll get all your minerals. You'll get selenium and zinc and copper, including uh, plant-derived minerals and. Uh, Other trace nutrients like coenzyme Q10, grapeseed extract, bioflavonoids, truly a cornucopia of nutrients for just $52.50 a month. That's the BTT 2.0, and you can find out all about it at brightsideben.com. I also encourage you to check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly with news stories as well as blog posts. That's pharmacistben.com. All right, later in the program, we're going to be talking to, (coughs) excuse me, Carl and Joan Robinson. They've got an interesting take on supplements that you're going to want to hear about, specifically on four supplements that they say are harmful to the body. That's kind of interesting. That got caught my attention when their PR firm uh, asked me if I wanted to interview Carl and Joanne Robinson. Joan Robinson, we'll be talking to them at the bottom of the hour. In our second segment, we'll take your phone calls at 855-660-4261. We'll take those uh, in our next segment, our second segment. I want to continue talking our, continue with our discussion on, on eye health, peptides, degenerative eye disease, specifically about age-related macular degeneration, age-related, uh, or AMD as, it, as they call it, age-related macular degeneration. There's two kinds of AMD, macular degeneration. The first is, is the most common kind. It's called dry AMD. If it progresses, it can involve the formation of blood vessels and scar tissue, and ultimately it can lead to blindness. That's called wet macular degeneration. 90%, however, of AMD, of age-related macular degeneration, is the dry form. It uh, has to go, has to progress, has to become really severe for you to go into uh, wet macular degeneration, which can lead to blindness. 
If you have been told that you are one of the 10 to 15 million Americans with some degree of macular degeneration, you want to make sure, as with all degenerative diseases, that you're focusing on digestive health, especially as it regards fat absorption. There is a very, very important link between fat absorption or fat malabsorption and eye health. That's because the key nutrients that are involved in keeping your eyes healthy, vitamin A and vitamin E and zinc and, and selenium and MSM and phytonutrients like carotenes, beta carotene, for example, and uh, a lutein, which we're going to be talking about here in a little bit. All of these are fatty. That means if you have a liver problem or if you have an intestinal problem or if, God forbid, they yanked out your gallbladder or if you're chronically getting gallstones or you've got a pancreas issue, this means a lot of folks you're going to have problems with your eyes, and your eye doctor is not going to tell you about this. For the most part, eye doctors are ignorant about the link between digestive wellness, especially as it regards fat, fat absorption or fat malabsorption, and eye health. One of the most important and underappreciated of these fatty nutrients that are important for the eyes are the pigments. Pigment chemistry is really, really amazing stuff. We touched on this a little bit yesterday. Do you know what a pigment is? Does anybody out there really know what a pigment is? A pigment, which we know and we recognize as color, is simply a molecule that absorbs energy selectively. By absorbing energy, light energy, selectively, it acts like a light filter or an energy filter, a light energy filter, and it emits out what it doesn't absorb. So a pigment is a molecule that's got a, a specific kind of chemical structure that allows it to absorb certain types of energy and reflect the rest out. What it reflects out is what we see as a color. The energy that a, a pigment absorbs, the uh, light energy that the pigment absorbs, is made up of some of the fractions of light. Light, when we look at light, it's made up of seven different fractions, seven components, the famous Roy G. Biv. If you remember from your uh, high school biology or high school physics, all light is composed of seven fractions called Roy G. Biv, R-O-Y-G-B-I-V. That's an acronym or an abbreviation to help us remember the, the seven different fractions of light. We call them colors. Roy, G-Biv, R-O-Y-G-B-I-V. R for red, or O for orange, Y for yellow, G for green, B for blue, I for indigo, and V for violet. Those are the seven fractions of light. Those are the seven components of light. Black light... Black, the color black, absorbs everything. The color white absorbs nothing. And in between, we have different fractions of light that are absorbed. A pigment is something that will absorb certain fractions of that light and reflect others. For example, a pigment that will absorb everything but green, it will absorb red and orange and yellow and blue and indigo and violet, will reflect green and we'll see it as being green. If we see a pigment that looks orange, that means it's, it's absorbing everything but orange. If we see something that looks yellow, it's absorbing everything but yellow. If we see a, a, a pigment that's uh, absorbing or that shows up as violet, that means it's absorbing everything but violet. That's how pigments work. You can think of pigments as little light, ma uh, light magnets. Which, with each pigment, each pigment molecule functions as a magnet for a specific fraction of light. This idea that pigments absorb light, absorb specific parts of light, makes them super important for vision. It makes them super important for the eyes. We see all our colors, this amazing reality of ours. We see all the colors in this visual world of, of ours via pigments absorbing specific things and reflecting other things. Pigments in the eyes absorbing specific fractions of light and then reflecting other fractions of light. And that makes pigments and eye health super, super, super important. The eye is packed with pigment cells or cells that have pigments in them. Specifically, we have cells in the eyes called rods and cones. Some of you may have heard of those terms, rods and cones. And these rods and cones contain pigment cells. Most of these pigment cells are located in the cones. Some are located in the rods. And a vast majority of these pigment cells, these cones, are located in the center part of the eye, especially in an area called the macula. Rods, for the most part, are involved in night vision. They only have one pigment. Cones, on the other hand, have three pigments, and that makes the cones, <clears throat> excuse me, really, really important for color vision and for sharp daylight vision, as opposed to the rods, which are more involved in night vision and dim light vision. 
All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We're coming back at you with more good health information right after this. Don't go away. You have all seen and heard about the elements of the periodic table. These elements are the building blocks of everything in the universe. You, my friends, are made from these elements. A shortage of any of these important trace elements can lead to disease. Go with the science and take the Lady Talk Health Challenge and get all 90 essential trace elements with a healthy start pack at LadyTalkLive.com or call 855-333-LADY. That's 855-333-5239. Research shows it's not just what you put in your body that counts, it's what you put on it as well. Why not use an all-natural, healthy, mineral-based makeup that actually benefits your skin? Once you experience the airiness and flawless coverage of Longevity Mineral Makeup, you will never use anything else. With Longevity, the perception of your complexion will be natural perfection. Animal-friendly mineral makeup at Mary Lou Health. That's M-A-R-I-L-U-Health.com. Or call 855-321-HEALTH. Friends, this is Alex Jones for MidasResources.com. For more than 15 years, I have exclusively used Midas Resources for all my precious metal needs. Whether it's bullion or collectibles you're looking for, Midas Resources is simply the best. I own my gold as a hedge against inflation. This Federal Reserve fiat currency could go the way of the Deutschmark and the Weimar Republic any time. In these historically dangerous times, it makes sense to physically hold gold and silver. Midas already has some of the best deals in the industry. But if you give them a call and mention the radio special, they will give you a list of the day's super specials. Midas brokers are standing by to answer all your questions at 800-686-2237. They also have a lot of informative free literature explaining the opportunities and risk of holding precious metals. They are ready to answer your questions at 800-686-2237. Again, that's 800-686-2237. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited-time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE, 855-340-7283. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Got more to say about eye health and about pigment health and about digestive health and fatty uh, digestion of fats, fat malabsorption and fat absorption as it regards eye health, but we will do that tomorrow except I just want to say, make sure you eat your pigments, folks. Make sure you eat your reds and your yellows and your greens. Eat the rainbow, especially when it comes to uh, well, when it comes to vegetables, you can also eat the rainbow or at least eat some pigments uh, in non-vegetable form. We'll tell you what I mean. I'll tell you what I mean tomorrow when we continue talking about degenerative eye disease 
and digestive health and nutritional supplements. We'll do that tomorrow on the Bright Side. Time to hit our phones, 855-660-4261. In the bottom of the hour, we're going to talk to Carl and Joanne Robinson about four supplements that you want to be careful with, four supplements that they call hazardous, actually. And that will be at the bottom of the hour. Time to hit our phones. Let's go to California. Welcome, Ahmad, to the program. What's up, Ahmad? How you doing? I'm pretty good, Ben. How are you? Doing well. How can we help you? I have uh, just one question, really. Um, I keep, I'm keep i trying to follow the paleo diet <clears throat> as best as I can, um, but I keep hearing, and I'm you know trying to do as much research on it and see what's good, what's not good, and I keep hearing, I don't know, I keep seeing a lot of areas where they keep saying dairy and red meat to not use it, and some places they say to use it. What's, what would you say? And what I, I, mean, I would say be careful of any fad diets, and paleo, the, the word paleo, uh, paleo, uh, the, when you hear it associated with diet, is a classic example of a fad diet. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you're eating clean, you're eating less, and you're eating carefully. There's no hard and fast rule about dairy and meat, none. So if anybody tells you don't eat dairy, don't eat meat, in my opinion, they don't know what the heck they're talking about. There's lots of great things in dairy, but you've got to do it carefully. There's lots of great things in meat, but you've got to do it carefully. Meat can be a powerfully important food. It's loaded with nutrients, but if you eat McDonald's, you eat hormone-filled meat or antibiotic meat or, or, or supermarket type of meat, you're not going to get your – you may get some of the benefits associated with the meat, but you're also going to get, get a lot of the problems that are associated with meat. Meat, as it turns out, is a little bit difficult to process. So if you have any digestive problems, you have intestinal problems, you're not making ends enzymes, for example, you're not making stomach acid, you have pancreatic problems, you're probably better off not eating a lot of meat. Likewise with dairy. If you have dairy allergies, and many people do, many people have a problem processing the protein casein, C-A-S-E-I-N, which is in dairy. So as wonderful as dairy can be, if you've got problems with casein, you probably shouldn't be eating dairy. And that's why you can't say, well, I'm just going to eat paleo, because paleo means you eat like our caveman ancestors ate. And our caveman ancestors didn't have to deal with the same kind of food processing problems that we have to deal with. So I'm not a big believer in eating paleo or, or following any kind of fad diets. What I tell people is eat less and eat carefully. Those are the two most important things when it comes to food. Eat less. You don't need a lot of food. Your stomach's only as big as, a, as your fist. So in order to fill your stomach up completely, which you don't really need to do, you only need a, a couple of, you know, whatever a, a your fist is, an amount of food, you know, maybe a, a half a, a sandwich or so. But you don't even need to fill your stomach up. You can just have your stomach, a, a little bit of food in your stomach, and you'll be satisfied. Try this the next time you're super-duper hungry. That's really the only time you should be eating is when you're really, really hungry. Not when you think you're hungry, but when you're really hungry. Try doing this the next time you're hungry. Just eat a couple of bites of, uh, say, uh, uh, some vegetables or a couple of pieces of fish or something that's, that's easy for the body to process, and you'll notice you're not hungry anymore, and that's how you know you've eaten enough food. Now, you've got to make sure you're getting enough nutrients, that's for sure. So you want to eat nutrient-dense, you want to eat a lot less, and you want to make sure you're eating clean, and don't pay any attention to, to, to fad diets. When it comes to dairy, if you're okay with dairy, you don't have any allergies, a small amounts of raw, unprocessed dairy, if you can find it, are probably good for you. If you don't have a problem with meat, small amounts of hormone-free antibiotic meat is probably good good for you, but it, the key is small, the key is unprocessed, and the key is untainted by human chemicals. And by the way, when I say the less you eat, the better off you are, I'm talking biochemistry. When we eat less food, our body secretes growth hormone, our body secretes happy hormones, our body secretes energizing hormones, Any if we have any kind of inflammatory disorders, when we don't eat, that inflammation goes down. There's actually a hormone called ghrelin, G-H-R-E-L-I-N, it's been in the news it was on the Drudge Report today because uh, scientists are now looking to vaccinate people against post-traumatic stress syndrome by stimulating this hormone, ghrelin. It turns out that ghrelin is a hormone that goes up when you don't eat. When you fast, ghrelin levels go up and your stress levels drop. When your ghrelin levels go up in response to appetite suppression or fasting, your inflammation symptoms go down as well. This is, this is stuff we talk about on the bright side all the time. Well, now scientists are trying to activate fasting hormones like ghrelin via vaccination to eliminate post-traumatic stress syndrome. Well, you don't need a vaccination. You don't need a doctor. You don't need a scientist to activate ghrelin to reduce stress, post-traumatic stress, or otherwise just fast. Just eat less food. And of course, that also implies 
fasting and eating less food implies that you get yourself on a good nutritional supplement program because you need to make sure that you're supplementing. So, Ahmad, that's a long version. That's a lot of, uh, that, that was a long answer to, for your question. I don't believe in any kind of fad diets. Bottom line, eat less, eat clean, eat unprocessed, and eat nutrient-dense. Does that help you, my man? That's that's perfect. Uh, one, I don't like the calorie count, but if I wanted to keep it just so I just eat minimal amount of calories, just to go by your satiety. By, would you go, don't go by calories? Go by how full, you, how satisfied you are, and it doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a lot to make you satisfied. You want to be satisfied. You want to feel like you don't have to go out and get foods, and that implies nutrient density. Making sure that you're getting plenty of fats in your food and plenty of vitamins and minerals in your food, and supplementing if you need to. Thanks so much, Alma. Got to move on, buddy. Hope I helped you out. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Peter in New York. What's up, buddy? Peter? Peter going once, I'm, going twice. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Hello? Hey, Peter. Hello? Yes. Okay. You I, got me. I got you. What's up? Uh, yes. Have, uh, you ever heard any work by Charles Walters and his book was entitled uh, The Minerals for the Genetic Code? It's an awesome book. It's one of my favorite books, actually. One of my favorite oh, books great. about minerals. I was wondering I was wondering and relating it to whether or not, um, as, as I understand it, because I read this book over 10 years ago, uh, by breaking it down to the individual organ, uh, why is it that one of the one of the main ones of the kidneys does not have a regenerative process to itself, like other parts of the body? I'm not. I, you know, Peter, I'm having a hard time hearing you. You said something. I heard you say something about the kidneys. And what did you say about the kidneys? Yes. Um, why is that uh, one of the organs that they don't they necessarily can't uh, revive themselves or regenerate themselves? to a more healthier state like other parts of the body. I, I'm not sure what you're saying. You're telling me that the kidneys don't regenerate themselves? Kidney cells no, don't regenerate? I, no, no, no. Why is that they, they don't? Like a person who has to go on dialysis from renal failure, uh, uh, why is it that they, they can't be supported or helped along with, with proper mineral supplements? I don't know that that's the case. I, is that what he says? In, I don't remember him saying that in the book. Why don't you do this no. for me, Peter? If you can get, you have the book handy? No, I know he didn't. No, no, no. What I'm trying to say is, of that organ, why is it that, um, uh, like a lot of other ones, can be helped with mineral supplementation that the kidneys can't? So I don't think that's that the case. I don't think that's the case. I don't remember him saying that, and I don't think that's the case. So I can't answer that question. Peter, that's, I've got to take, I've got to move on, buddy. I don't, I'm not really clear on what you were asking me, but I don't think that's the case. The kidneys are like any other cells in the body. They can help, they can heal themselves, they can regenerate themselves. You've got to make sure you're giving them the raw materials. By the way, even though a cell, some cells don't necessarily completely uh, regenerate themselves, but the components of the cells always regenerate themselves. All right. Got to move on. We're coming back with Carl and Joan Robinson, and they're going to tell us about four supplements that you've got to be really careful with. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. 
I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. An e-cig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American-made? Vapria e-liquid by LeSig is. Manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA-sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapria e-liquid by LeSig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapria e-liquid by LeSig a long time ago. LeSig.com has everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiast with a wide variety of hardware and also imported e-liquid flavors as well. Plus, LeSig smokes the competition with fast, free, same-day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a Vapriot at LeSig.com or call 870-525-1440. 870-525-1440. LeSig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. So it's off to Grandma's house for the holidays, eh? <laughs> That's great. But while you're going over the river and through the woods, professional burglars are choosing easy targets to break into. Don't be an easy target. Plug in Fate TV. Fool criminals into believing someone's home at your house watching TV. Fate TV works a bit like the light on a timer, but Fate TV is far more convincing. Fake TV plugs into any outlet and simulates the light and colors of a real TV. Burglars will likely move on to easier targets and leave your house alone. Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and makes a great Christmas gift. Or it's perfect if you're traveling over the holidays or anytime. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. What looks good under your Christmas tree and tastes even better? Big Berkey water filters. Yes, the gift of clean water. A gift that provides a great foundation for achieving good health in the lives of your loved ones. A Big Berkey water filter gives them protection from bacteria, heavy metals, chlorine, fluoride, pesticides and herbicides, VOCs and more. And best of all, a Big Berkey water filter is a gift that lasts for many years with no additional investment. And that saves time and money in filter replacements that other water filters require and are even powerful enough to purify treated, untreated, or even stagnant pond water. As always, all orders over $50 are shipped free, and GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Order online at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com, spelled Big, B-E-R-K-E-Y, WaterFilters.com, or call 877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-B-E-R-K-E-Y. Gift well this Christmas. Give a Big Berkey water filter. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. GCN. Great talk radio starts here. If you're still on hold, we're going to take that to take your phone calls tomorrow. I apologize for that. We have a guest coming up. Uh, a couple of guests coming up. Those of you who listen to The Bright Side on a regular basis or even occasionally, or if you've heard me speak over the years, know that I'm a big, big proponent of using nutritional supplements. The Bright Side program is a nutritional supplement program. In my opinion, if you don't supplement your diet with vitamins and minerals and essential amino acids, essential fatty acids, you are missing out on a key opportunity to give your body what it needs to do to do its work. It's just flat out impossible, in my opinion, to get what you need in terms of vitamins, minerals, aminos, essential fats, by simply eating a, quote, good diet, unquote. Based on everything I know about biochemistry and about nutrition, about how the body works, it is my firm belief and educated opinion that to be maximally healthy, you got to get yourself on a good nutritional supplement program like the Mighty 90, the 90 for Life program designed by Doc Wallach. 
which is why I was so blown away by a letter that I got from a PR, uh, PR firm a couple of weeks ago asking me if I want to interview a couple of folks who have a message about the negatives associated with nutritional supplementation. Now, I have to say, when I first heard about Carl and Joan Robinson, who build themselves as health educators and take, uh, when I first heard about their take on uh, four hazardous supplements, I got a little excited, got a little upset. I gave the PR firm a quick cause that I got to talk to these guys and we're going to make this an advert serial contentious interview, which I usually don't do. But as I read further into their work, I got to thinking that these guys were not 100% off base. They got some points, some very valid points to make. But we're going to give Carl and Joan their opportunity to explain what they mean when they say, quote, there are some supplements, even when labeled natural, that can be harmful to our bodies, unquote. So without further ado, please welcome to the Bright Side health educators, Carl and Joan Robinson. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Ben. And good morning to you. Good to talk to you. Uh, four supplements that you've got to be careful with. First of all, tell our listeners about what are the four supplements, then we'll get into each one individually. Well, vitamin C is one. And what I want to make real clear here is we're not anti-supplement. We're just let's use these supplements in, in a rational fashion. And it is important that we understand that uh, a supplement be from as natural a source ingredient as possible. Floyd Banner, we with you on that. Absolutely. Yeah. You cannot get it all from your diet. I'm a clinician. Even a healthy diet. I'm a okay. clinician, so a lot of my work is based on my clinical experience. So you have vitamin C, you've got calcium, you've got uh, vitamin A, and... The antacids we we want to talk about because a lot of people are using them like a supplement uh, for calcium. Because the, the, the darn antacid companies are advertising that this is a good <laughs> source crazy? of calcium supplementation. Do you know antacids are the best-selling over-the-counter drug in the country, maybe even in the world? People are taking antacids uh, like they're going yeah, I do know that. Now, uh, now let's, let me talk about the antacids real quick. So the, the drug companies, the companies that make antacids, are, are, are indeed advertising these things as a source of calcium. What's the problem with that? Well, the first of all, it's an insidious source of calcium because it alkalizes the stomach. The whole thing is is to anti-acid, anti-acid, because the stomach is perceived to be too over-acid, so we're right. going to chemically shift it. Well, that's a dangerous thing to do because it can actually result in a very serious condition that can be life-threatening. Now, this is, the, and I'm talking about antacids here that are not just calcium. They have other super-buffering agents that shift the stomach away from its natural balance. So well, if you take an antacid, you're messing digestion in a negative way, I mean, keeping you from digesting, right. it's going to have a cascading effect on the rest of your health. On the pancreas, on the liver, on the intestines, etc., nutrient absorption, etc., correct? Absolutely. Now, how about if you take an antacid after you have a nice steak dinner? What's up with that? What, what are the implications well, there? Well, your, your steak is just going to go through your stomach half digested. You have to have those very powerful digestive enzymes, which can run down, and the digestive juices, that can get down to a pH of two and a half. Very, very acid required to break up those protein uh, chains into simpler amino acids that can get into the bloodstream. You take an antacid, yeah, you know, just... Just, just consider that great steak, you know, no longer being nutritionally viable. How about even worse? It's sitting in your intestine and rotting. Oh. That's, that's exactly. That's the point. It goes from fermenting, which is a healthy process in the digestive tract, to putrefaction, which right. is like a sewer. Right. So you have a, basically you have a sewer in your intestine if you take an antacid after your hamburger or steak or high protein, whatever. Absolutely. All right. So now, absolutely. Is there any time to take an antacid, uh, a Maalox or a prescription antacid? Is there any benefit or is there any time that somebody wants to do that? You know, in your as a clinician, you know, Ben, speaking as a clinician, there might, and I really say that with a lot of caution, there might be acute instances where that might be necessary. But, but for the most part, no. There are herbs and other things that can be taken that give as great a benefit without the downside for uh, adjusting maybe an over acid stomach, meaning that the acids have usually gotten too high in the stomach and they're pushing against the esophagus area there. Now, so you could take you herbs? Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, can you, you even herbs? Absorb... <laughs> I'm going to let you go. There. I'm going to let you go there, Carl. Uh, okay. You can take herbs or certain kinds of fiber rich foods that'll actually pull 
that food that's sitting too high in the stomach and pull it back down to the bottom where it can properly digest. That's what most acid indigestion is, is that the food's just not dropping down into the lower part of the stomach quick enough or efficiently enough. Diet is the best way to get that to happen, not drugs. How, now, can you even absorb the calcium without acid? If you take an antacid calcium in it and you suppress your acid, isn't that going to affect how the calcium is absorbed? Exactly. And now that brings us to the point. And this is the one thing that I'm really clear on. I don't believe there's a need for quote-unquote calcium supplementation. Take a look at the American diet. Grains, breads, pastas, uh, all the milk that's being drank. Just loads and loads of calcium. Our problem is we're not absorbing our calcium. And why? Maybe it's because of all the antacids that are being <laughs> taken. Maybe it's because the food's not got enough of a mix in it that it's too bland and it's suppressing the uptake of the calcium. And there's strong evidence to show that if you take too much calcium, it will actually suppress the uptake of calcium. Why? Because it makes the stomach too alkaline. That's interesting. Now, do you, would you suspect that people are making, the, we have a bigger problem with too little stomach acid production, hypochlorhydria, than too much the acid production? No, I wouldn't say that. What I would say is that we have a problem with when that stomach acid is being produced because it goes through a cycle. When you taste something or smell something, it actually stimulates the digestion, and that starts the production of the hydrochloric acid. And that usually happens about 15, 20 minutes before eating. And then that hydrochloric acid production shuts down about the end of the meal because it is at peak. And as the food's going in, it's getting digested. So I don't think it's so much that too much or too little is being produced as much as it's off schedule. Mm, you know this from biochemistry and physiology. Remember those studies? Well, I'm, specifically, what are you talking about? Which studies? The, the studies that we have in college, you know, and in high school, how the varying, digest, the varying systems of the body work on a cycle. Oh, uh, the timing. Everything the timing works of the, on a cycle. Yeah. I like to think of a car wash, how the car goes through the, different, the, 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 the tunnel and different kinds of different fluids get squirted and different brushes come out all in a kind of in a, in a secular fashion. I think that's what you're talking about, correct? Yes, it is. That's a very good analogy. All right, hang tight because I want to talk about vitamin C next, and then I want to talk about uh, calcification, and then also vitamin A, which is one of my all-time favorite nutritional supplements. We're talking to Carl and Joan Robinson about four dangerous supplements. You're listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. If you suffer seasonal or environmental allergies and your doctor has told you that the only answer is medications for the rest of your life, Dr. Peter Glidden has an alternative solution that doesn't involve drugs with terrible side effects. One of my favorite add-on products to the 90 essential nutrients for people who are suffering with allergies is a product called Cell Shield RTQ. Cell Shield RTQ. The Q in that product stands for a biochemical called quercetin, and quercetin is a natural antihistamine. It doesn't flag out your immune system like antihistamines do. To manage your allergies without a lifetime of prescription or over-the-counter drugs, order Longevity's Cell Shield RTQ today by calling 855-347-3696. That's 855-347-3696 or on the web at fireyourmdnow.com. That's fireyourmdnow.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Thank you. 
For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now, here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Wise up, load up at freezedryguy.com. Now is the time to get the freeze-dried meats, fruits, and vegetables you want from Wise on sale at freezedryguy.com. This delicious, nutritious food is perfect for your emergency preparedness or outdoor recreational needs. It's the food with a 25-year shelf life you see exclusively featured on the popular Doomsday Preppers TV show. It's the same quality line of food the lovely Marie Osmond has been touting all across America. It's the wise investment in your family's future that personal finance expert and radio host Dave Ramsey has been talking about. And it's on sale now through the end of the month at freezedryguy.com. So wise up. Shop online now or call 866-404-3663. That's 866-404-FOOD. Make the wise food choice. It's easy to prepare, easy to enjoy, and easy to buy on sale now at freezedryguy.com. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. All right, we are back on the break side talking to health educators Carl and Joan Robinson about four dangerous supplements. We covered antacids, uh, alkalinization of the digestive tract, postprandial, post eating, not a good idea. And we talked about calcium. We didn't talk about calcification. Touching a little bit on calcification that's associated with excess ingestion or incorrect ingestion or poor absorption of calcium. Well, I had a shocking piece of information come to my attention about three years ago. It hit the news wire, and that was that it was found that uh, a hardening of the heart itself, the actual, the actual cardiac, the heart itself, was found to have been precipitated by overuse of calcium supplements. And this wasn't just one case. The CDC had done this and had found an alarming trend here that this hardening of the heart tissues was, through a meta-study, they found that there was a, a very, very consistent correlation between that and a high percentage of those individuals using, overusing calcium supplementation. Since then, the, you know, there's been ongoing research, and indeed it's been found that, yes, there, the, the, you get too much calcium getting into the system, and if you don't have a proper balance of magnesium and, and, and potassium, that calcium begins to settle out in the body's soft tissues, and then it mm. creates all kinds of problems. What about vitamin K? Vitamin K? Yes, vitamin K as opposed uh, for uh, calcium, for helping uh, the body absorb and utilize, probably cells utilize calcium. You know, I don't have a whole lot to say on that. Uh, vitamin K, yes, especially if it's from a natural source, and one of the biggest sources of vitamin K, of course, is alfalfa. Uh, it's one of the main uh, extractions that it's, it's derived from. But not a whole lot more to say on that. Now, what I will say about calcium is because it's so alkaline, it doesn't seem just uh, chemically uh, reasonable that you would need to have an acid, more of an acid type of a supplement to help balance and bring that calcium into solution. And there we come back to the use of maybe 
Calcium vitamin. should be used with vitamin C. I was just about to say. Why don't you? Well, I want to talk. Well, let's talk a, bit, a little bit about vitamin C, and then we'll talk about vitamin A. So there's different forms of vitamin C. Obviously, you've got the the sodium salt of vitamin C. You've got the acid form, ascorbic acid. You've got the the so-called ester C's, and you've got the the fatty vitamin C, sodium uh, or uh, scorbyl palmitate. What's your take on the different forms? Is there one form that's better? Is there one form that you recommend? What's the difference between natural vitamin C and supplemental vitamin C? You know, Ben, you hit it on the button head, and basically the vitamin C discussion, you've taken it right to its focal point. Our concern with vitamin C overuse is concerning the uh, ascorbate types of vitamin C, the simple vitamin Cs that people mega dose and take large amounts, and they goof up their digestive system. See, what they're doing with vitamin C is the opposite effect of what's being done with the antacids. It's over acidifying the system and it's, it's upsetting the buffering system within the digestive tract. Now when you're talking about buffered vitamin C's and all the other vitamin C's you mentioned have a buffering aspect to them, we usually don't have a serious problem with them and the interesting thing is you don't have to take as much to get the vitamin C effect. Now, what are you thinking when you say a high dose and you don't take as much? And what are some good dosages? And what's, what do you consider a high dose? What do you consider a good dose of vitamin C? What do you consider an underdose of vitamin C? Well, you know, it depends on the individual first. Uh, some claim they can get along fine on 500 milligrams a day to 1,000 milligrams. Others claim they need three to 5,000 milligrams. I think when somebody starts pushing, especially if it's a high ascorbic-based vitamin C, when they start pushing that 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day, I think they may be pushing into an area that could be very stressing to the digestive system and have a cascading effect throughout other parts of the body. That's m- m- our take as far as that is concerned. And Joan, go ahead. Well, and, and back to what we're not doing is eating whole foods, eating enough whole fruits and uh, get back to nature and, and as such. Now, I was a, da- a daughter of a well-respected medical doctor internist who started a uh, clinic, one of the top clinics in the Seattle area. And he wasn't into megadosing. Now, I had a lot of respect for doctors, though, through the years when I had health issues that were really, it became quite serious. You know, I, I said, okay, whatever doctor you say, you know, whatever you say. And I had a doctor that put me on high levels of vitamin C, extremely high doses, trying to kick out something else, but it created a lot of trouble with my digestive system and kidneys that over the next few years cascaded into other health issues. I had to rebuild my health, and I did it with diet and herbs and, and natural supplements. But, so that's now, how I've handled my health for over a dozen years. But, Ben, we need to emphasize here that the vitamin C, the high-dosing vitamin C that Joan had been put on was ascorbic acid-based vitamin C. It was not a buffered vitamin C. So when you say high doses, are you talking 10 grams high doses? Are you talking 50 grams a day high doses? Oh, gracious. He had me uh, on uh, vitamin C drips, and then okay. it was in the tens of thousands of milligrams a day because I wasn't responding right. So he just said, take more. And wasn't responding right. Take more. Um, that was created extreme problems in my health. And, and extreme problems in your digestive health or your overall health? Yes, overall health. I developed a really serious um, leaky gut syndrome that uh, everything cascaded down into Uh severe autoimmune conditions. Interesting. So uh, when you say natural vitamin C, you're you're not talking about natural supplements. You're talking about food, vitamin C in foods, correct? Hey, we're talking about both. It can be the vitamin C that you eat in your foods, your orange, your oranges, your grapefruits. Uh, a lot of uh, varying vegetables like tomatoes have lots of vitamin C. It can also mean if you're taking a vitamin C supplement that it is a naturally derived vitamin C in a complex form. Is a mineral ascorbate, for instance. It's buffered. You see, all the vitamin C that we eat in all those foods are not in the form of pure vitamin C. They are ascorbate vitamin mm-hmm. Cs, mm. uh, mineral ascorbates. They exist as, as calcium citrate, as magnesium citrate, as potassium citrate. That's how they exist in nature. If we're going to supplement our diet, then use it the same way. Because I promise you this, 
You will not have to go to the high, high mega dosing levels when you use that kind of a high quality vitamin C versus a straight vitamin C that has to go through all the buffering process in the digestive system just to get a little of it into your system. Okay, now uh, my favorite vitamin, well, one of my favorite vitamins, I like them all, but one of my favorites is vitamin A. And you got a problem with vitamin A. I got a, a little bit of a problem with vitamin A too. I want to hear your take. Well, my problem with the vitamin A is simply this. We're taking too much of the oil-soluble form. I knew Dr. Gary Price Todd. He was the chief surgeon with the United States Navy for like 25 years. And when he retired, he opened up a clinic there in Asheville, North Carolina. And the clinic was specializing in eye care and nutritional counseling. He had found when he was in the Navy with dealing with eye health that those who took, uh, ate a lot of foods that were rich in vitamin A, they seemed, of course, had better eye health. But what he found when he came out was he was originally would recommend vitamin A supplements, the typical, you know, oil-soluble vitamin A, and he wasn't getting the results that he said he should have been getting until he came up with the idea, wait a minute, foods don't contain vitamin A as pure vitamin A, they contain it as beta... Uh, Carot- Car- uh, beta carotene? Car- Beta carotene, thank you. Sometimes my brain gets a little locked here. But it's beta carotene that the body in the liver converts into a form of water-soluble vitamin A. So he started recommending for his customers, to, uh, his clients, to be using the uh, the, uh, the, beating, the the beta carotene, beta, beta carotene. Yeah. as a supplement, yes. And what he found was he got better results, but still not quite what he needed. It's when he put his his patients on both the water-soluble form of the pro-vitamin A and the oil-soluble form of vitamin A, he started seeing miracles. So it's the kind of vitamin A that's being used that's very important. He also found consistently he did not have to have them take as high a dosage to get the effect because he believed that the water-soluble and the oil-soluble working together actually had a synergistic effect once the liver started working with those nutrients. So you're, you're saying take the vitamin A with beta-carotene? Absolutely. In his huh. research, and he, 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 he basically says, I, I, I will go to my grave stating you have to have both forms of vitamin A to really get the benefit because he said, I can prove it in my eye health studies. You and guys, here, we're, World Health we're out of time. Health organization. Go ahead, real quick. We only got about 30 seconds. Oh, gracious. A third of the children in the world are vitamin A deficient. That's because of malnutrition. Now, the malnutrition doesn't mean it's necessarily starving. We have to eat better. We have to eat our greens and eat our yellows and eat our oranges. Love it. So, what we're saying concerning vitamin A, why it can be a dang big. Well, I think we lost Carl and Carl and Joanne. It's hard on the liver. You got to have both forms of vitamin A. You guys, you guys, I wish we could talk more. We're just flat out of time. You've been listening to the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for listening, guys. That's the sound of a 44 Magnum and Trauma Max, a high-tech hybrid Kevlar bulletproof vest from InfidelBodyArmor.com, will stop it and most pistol rounds. Trauma Max is a major breakthrough in pistol-rated body armor, and prices start at just $170 per insert. More protection, more stopping power, more mobility, and it weighs less than five pounds. Get details at InfidelBodyArmor.com. That's I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Typhoon Haiyan, death toll stopped 5,200 after the storm smashed the Philippines. This holiday, let's not forget those 13 million homeless without food or clean water. Before we sit down to our bountiful tables, consider making a food donation. Longevity and Red Cross has made it possible to feed a family of four for $16.20. Go to GCNMinerals.com, help feed the Philippines, or call 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water 
water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. 